Hey folks, David Tao with Barbed.com, and today we're talking about one of the top five women to qualify for the CrossFit Games Finals in Aromas, California, and that is Katrin David's daughter. She is a two-time CrossFit Games champion, winning in both 2015 and 2016, and we're gonna talk about what kind of shape she's looking in this year, as well as the very impressive streak of top five performances she's put together over the past half decade. But before we dive too deep into that, make sure you subscribe to Barbend on YouTube. Just click that subscribe button. YouTube makes it really easy. You might not be aware of this, but YouTube is a really big company. They're really smart. They make it really easy to subscribe to channels like ours. Go ahead and do that, please. The first thing I wanna point out about David's daughter's top five CrossFit Games finish streak. 2015 she won, 2016 she won, and then she also finished in the top five in 2017, 18, 19, and now she's guaranteed to finish in the top five in 2020. That is six years in a row, more than half a decade actually, that she's finished among the top five fittest women on the planet. That's an incredibly impressive streak, and I really just wanted to point that out. It's worth some recognition on its own, whether or not she ends up making the podium again this year. Now, David's daughter is, of course, a two-time CrossFit Games champion. She's actually the second Icelandic woman to do that after Annie Thor's daughter, who's her friend and occasional training partner. And David's daughter finished in first place in both 2015 and 2016. Second place both those years, you might have heard of her, Tia Claire Toomey. She's now the three-time defending CrossFit Games champion. So you have to go back all the way to 2014 to find a CrossFit Games where the champion wasn't named David's daughter or Toomey. Pretty impressive performances from these two athletes to stay at the top of the sport for that long. Now, in order to qualify for the top five this year, David's daughter had to perform exceptionally well in stage one of this year's competition, where it was the top 30 men and top 30 women competing virtually for one of those top five spots. And it didn't come super easy. We're gonna break down her performance in stage one and talk about how she had to come, really come back from a bit of a deficit and have just outstanding event winning performances to actually catapult herself into a top five position. It was something to watch. David's daughter didn't start off stage one probably like she wanted to. She finished in 12th place on Friendly Fran, that was the first event, and then in 27th place on the Max Front Squat. Now, Max leg strength has never been one of her strongest suits. We have seen her struggle compared to some of the other top five, top 10 women in the games when it comes to things like heavy cleans or heavy squats. So uh, definitely starting from toward the back or middle of the pack based on those first two events in stage one. Now she starts making up a little bit of ground on event three. Damn Diane, 11th place. Okay, she's staying relevant. And then the row, the 1000 meter row for time is where we start to see her make her move. She finished in fourth place overall, her first top five placing of the weekend, but didn't come until the fourth event. So three events left to go in stage one. She still has a massive amount of ground to cover. And cover ground she did. A resounding first place finish on Nasty Nancy. That was by far the longest event of the weekend. And then also a first place finish on the max handstand hold. She finished first. Carrie Pierce, who also finished in the top five overall, finished second. These are both athletes with significant gymnastics backgrounds. David's daughter had a really, really good performance where she actually split her legs and kind of used her legs as a bit of a, a balancing lever. It kind of reminded me of what uh, tightrope walkers will do when they'll hold a pole when they're going across a tightrope to help give them a little balance or to be able to adjust their balance very easily. Well, she put her legs in a split position to do the same thing. So while David's daughter started in the middle or even toward the back of the pack at the beginning of the weekend, two event wins in a row set her up to where she really had a shot at making top five with just one event left to go. And in that final event, Awful Annie, she finished in seventh place overall. That was enough to put her in fourth place position. Now the points will reset before Aromas. No athletes will be taking in a points advantage. So even though Tia Claire Toomey finished in first out of stage one by a pretty significant margin, everyone's gonna be starting on a level playing field as far as points go. Let's talk about some of Katrin David's daughter's strengths and weaknesses. Gymnastics, well, we'll put that in the strengths category. She really demonstrated that on the handstand hold and there's not a gymnastics movement or really body weight movement you can throw at her where she's not going to be world class. That's just the way it is. She has that gymnastics background and something she's really built upon over her years in CrossFit. And she's been at this for a while. Let's talk about another one of her strengths, 
running, which she exhibited by winning the Nasty Nancy event that had those series of runs in between overhead squats and burpees. She's also great at things that are just exhausting, classic CrossFit stuff like burpees. Running wasn't always one of David's daughter's strengths, and she's admitted that, but over the last five, six, seven years, she's built her capacity, and she's now one of the most dangerous athletes when it comes to anything on the track or the trail. When it comes to weaknesses, well, she's not the all-out strongest athlete. We saw that on the front squat where she finished toward the bottom of the field. You give her a really heavy deadlift, you give her a really heavy front squat or back squat, you give her something really heavy in the Olympic lifting category, she's not gonna be the weakest, and I don't even think she'll be the weakest in those movements out of these top five women, but I don't think she's gonna give Tia Claire Toomey a run for her money in those events, for example. So just something to keep in mind, those really heavy movements, especially those max load movements, not David's daughter's true strength. There you have it. Katrin David's daughter, one of the fittest women in history and certainly one of the fittest women this year. Fantastic come from behind performance to qualify for the finals in Aromas. Who are you most excited to see on the women's side? Let us know in the comments below. Until then, I'm David Tao.